Your weather watch continues. It is Wednesday, so it is What Would You Do Wednesday? Mm -hmm. And guys, this video, <laughs> we, we are definitely going to range in our opinions on this yes. one. So take a look. Mm -hmm. Do you? I mean, if your wife <laughs> yeah. and you were lying there relaxing, mm -hmm. would you ditch her like that? Not a chance. Oh my no, goodness. No, no way. Are so you just saying that, that, are you saying that because you think Michelle might be watching right now? <laughs> Partly. But, uh, <laughs> No, I would. I, I would, would dump him. That's okay. the, that's a what would you do on multiple levels here? You would here. stay and make sure she was protected. Absolutely, first. For, I would. You yes. would dump the guy. Yeah, he like, hightailed it. Mm -hmm. I would leave. Yeah. I would, would leave my husband. You would leave. <laughs> no, not like I wouldn't like divorce him. I would. I. I would be the one to like get up and run away. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean I. Like, my, I'd be like you were like. The, yeah. By yourself yeah, the minute I saw it, I would also run too. Yeah, and so, I feel like it's I get I get why he did you know. it. Hi there, your weather watch continues on this Wednesday. It's the 5th of June, and finally, it's actually going to start to feel a little bit more June-like as we get closer to the weekend. Now, we do have some showers and the potential for some isolated thunderstorms throughout the day today. If you're heading down to Jurassic Park to watch the Raptors, we're looking at 18 degrees potentially by about 7 o'clock. If we don't see a lot of sun, I don't know if we're going to be reaching our daytime high of about 23 degrees, but we'll get close. Now, the chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms that's going to continue through this evening so think about rain jacket for tonight if you are heading downtown uh, for tomorrow afternoon we're going to see a daytime high of 22 degrees and this is going to be the beginning of the longest dry stretch we have seen since the end of march I know it's kind of sad, right? But it's really good news for much of Southern Ontario. Now we do have this area of low pressure that we have to get through first. This is what's going to be bringing us some showers, the risk of isolated, non-severe thunderstorms for the most part throughout much of the GTA, stretching right down towards the Windsor area where we could see a severe possible fire up with some strong winds and heavy downpours. And the rainfall amounts 5 to 15 millimeters, generally speaking, but of course those amounts could go up if we do see some thunderstorm activity. Hi. It's Wednesday. It's the 5th of June. Temperatures are finally getting closer to seasonal averages for the next couple of days, and we're actually going to see some dry conditions. Not today, but tomorrow. <laughs> We've got thunderstorms throughout the day today, and uh, the risk of isolated showers kind of on and off, and they're going to play into game time tonight. So if you're heading down to Jurassic Park, uh, maybe not an umbrella, because it is just, it's just a zoo down there, an umbrella may not be the best choice, but a rain jacket for sure. We're looking at 23 degrees potentially for today. This temperature is really going to depend on how much sunshine we see. If we don't see enough sun, it may be hard for us to break out of kind of the mid to high teens. But for the most part, uh, temperatures are going to feel a little bit muggy throughout the day today. Here's a look at the rain as it does start to track in throughout the day today. This afternoon and in through earlier this evening, that's kind of our best chance to see the thunderstorms firing up. And we do have a, um, a watch in place. We could well, the thunderstorm risk in place, rather, from Coburg all the way down towards Simcoe, non-severe cells, and then down towards London and in through Windsor, severe possible. So strong winds as well, some heavy downpours. Now, these rainfall amounts, 5 to 15, generally speaking, throughout much of the GTA. But, of course, if we do see some thunderstorms firing up this afternoon and through this evening, those rainfall amounts could certainly go up. Now, looking at the conditions for tomorrow, this is such great news. I mean, it, see, it has seemed like forever since I've been able to give you really good news about our weather this spring. We are seeing a pattern change, and we have got a nice ridge in the jet stream. We are going to be seeing high pressure over our region, which means we are not going to see not one, not two, not three, but potentially four days of dry weather. We haven't seen that since the end of March. The last stretch we have had of dry weather, longer than two days, was March 23rd to the 27th. I know. <laughs> well, we are in line to see that this weekend. So looking at Friday, 21, lots of sunshine, temperatures staying seasonal. We're not going to get hot. I mean, this time last year, we were seeing daytime highs flirting with the upper 20s and into the 30s. But, I mean, we have to be happy with what we can get, right? <laughs> lots of sunshine. That's the main thing that's in the forecast.